What's up, America? You know what Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. John, you know what this is? What's up, Right Tech family? My name is Olivia, and I'm so excited to be on the ones and twos for the first <laughs> ever all-female barbecue show, y'all. We put in so much time and practice and effort into the show. We really hope that y'all love it. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our hosts, Madeline and Shannon. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Are you excited? Yes. Woo! Hey, guys. I'm Madeline. This is Shannon. Thank you so much for tuning in to our first ever barbecue Wednesday. I'm so excited. Like, I can't wait. I We've been waiting to do this for years. Y'all have asked for it. You know, if you ask enough, we do it. Mm -hmm. We've been listening. Mm -hmm. So I here we go. Here we go. And we got a little bit of an audience out here today. And we're excited to bring you probably our best one so far, I think. Yeah. It's the first one. So it's obviously the best one so far. Oh, yeah. Going to be. For sure. Yeah. I and we've been listening to y'all for weeks. So we've been watching the comment section. Y'all guys want something easy, fast, kid friendly, family friendly. So we're bringing you meatball subs. Mm. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. So what are we going to do first? I'm going to just show you guys how to make some meatballs. Yum. All right. So we're going to use ground beef, 80% beef, 20% fat. If I can get these gloves on. Those are those Rectech Nitro gloves, right? Yes. We'll get them back these in stock nice. hopefully soon. Those are real nice. Oh, so, Madeline, yeah. what do you do here at Rectech? Fill us in. Okay. So I'm the content manager. I run Facebook and Instagram specifically, all the posts and whatnot, except for, of course, any live. Um, I comment back to y'all. I talk to y'all on Messenger, DMs. I also, any video or photo ever taken, I take care of that, put it in the right spot. Um, and honestly, getting into the PR world with Jody, so I'm pretty excited about that, Yay. working with our ambassadors and whatnot. But what I'm going to do now is take, I have about a pound and a half of red meat. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of our heifer dust. It goes great on everything, especially, of course, beef. And then I have two tablespoons of our Greek rub. Oh, I already forgot, guys. I need some oil in there, so I'm going to put two tablespoons But you know what, Madeline? Oil. It's good that you forgot something because we can show everyone that we're not oh, trained yeah. chefs. We are not trained We're chefs. just doing this for, you know, So we have no culinary background. The None. coolest thing about it is everything that you guys you guys have seen or watched with um, Jody and John and Greg, it's what we've learned. So yeah, but I must say our knife skills we did not learn. Oh yeah, no, the no. knife skills. Knife skills are <laughs> that's rough. coming later. But we'll I'm gonna put a little bit out. of garlic we'll see, in there because we'll I like flavor. Y'all can do if you want garlic. If not, I've made it without garlic, with garlic, and then I'm gonna do about a half a cup of panko. That is Japanese breadcrumbs. Jenny. And then I'm just going to mix it up. Y'all, we got some employees up. tuning in. We got yeah. family tuning in. Absolutely. Yeah. What's up, Rec Tech Nation? Kathy. Kathy's been talking hey, it up. Hey, Kathy. Yes, Kathy. Shout out to Kathy. I wonder where everyone is watching from. Group. Just going to mix it. Yeah, where is everybody Where is everyone from watching from? Make sure to drop that down in the comments. We want to see. I'm from Alabama, so I hope some of my people are on here watching. Madeline's from Georgia. I'm from Atlanta. Hi, ladies. So Thanks, it would be nice Eddie. to see some of our people on there. Yeah. Got All a right. lot of kinfolk Baltimore. over there. So I've mixed up my meat. I've got a lot of seasoning. I can smell it. It smells amazing. Mm. You're going to take about a little bit smaller than your palm of your hand. It's a little bit too much. Actually, you can do whatever size meatballs you want to make, but I like smaller. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to smack it to get all that air out, and then I'm just going to roll. Smack it to get the air out? Oh, yeah. Smack you it. don't want any, like, air bubbles or anything. I didn't so know that was yeah. a thing. Shout out Chef John. Again, learning from the best. Hey, Chef Greg says that he wants his sub with extra cheese, so just keep that in mind. Okay, I got you, Chef I think Greg. we can do that. I can do that. So, again, just about size of your palm, smack it, kind of like into a little patty, and roll. All right, Shannon, what do you do here at Rectech? I am actually new here. I've only been here for about three months. I'm the marketing director here, so I hang out with Madeline and the rest of the crew that's out here on the ones and twos. Um, we have a good time. We got a lot of stuff that we got going on right oh, yeah. now, and we're killing it. We can't bring, wait to bring you all some fresh new content. Uh, be on the lookout for that. It's going to be awesome. And if you know anything about a Rec Tech show, we've already got some meatballs cooking. Oh, so yeah. That's why all the smoke is over here. Absolutely. So really, Softing if I through. wanted to waste your time, I would. I would continue to roll these. But come on. There's already some meatballs cooking. Jordan, get in here. Check it out. Ooh. Look at those. Beautiful, Madeline. Thanks. 
Those look delicious. And like I said, you can grow them to any size you want. I think with ground beef, you definitely want to hit an internal of 165. It's the safest. Ground beef is kind of a mixture of everything, so you want to definitely make sure it's cooked thoroughly through. But you know, we didn't tell them, you don't have to use just ground beef on these. No, you can you do can, whatever you want. Yeah, you can do turkey, you can do those veggie based ones. I mean, I think that all of them will taste pretty good. Weren't you talking about a veggie one not too long ago? Yeah, I'm trying to get more healthy. I eat a lot of red meat, but I need to move on to some more you can't, know, can't hate on it though. Yeah, no, you can't. Can't hate on it. Y'all, I'm not trying to make you nervous, but we are up to 500 oh viewers. Oh my gosh! Oh gosh. So thanks, thanks guys. for watching. Please smash the share button. Yes, we really want to get the word sure. out there that we have an all female show going on right now. And Please let us know what you want to see on our show. I mean, yeah, wait, absolutely. so we've got some cool recipes. I mean, I sent Madeline one the other day, but we're not going to tell them. Secret. That's a surprise. Oh no, I'm so excited for what we have in store. <laughs> like the next one. Jody, Jody's gonna be so jealous. Yeah, Jody's you know, gonna be jealous. Jody specifically is gonna be jealous. Jody's gonna be jealous. Yeah. All right, Madeline. Now we've got all the meatballs out of the way. Well, we made our own sauce today, and it is delicious. So what we're gonna do is I've got some garlic already chopped up, got some onions chopped up. I got my sauce right here. All that. We're just gonna throw it on. I'm gonna throw the olive oil on. And just so you know, we also have some sauce already going. It's gonna be delicious. We can't wait to feed everyone up here the today. The call guys love when we cook. The call guys do love when we cook. I'm going to throw that oil on, then I'm going to throw some garlic in there. Get all that garlic in there. Who doesn't love some garlic, right, Madeline? Yes, I love garlic. And then you don't have to use as much onions as we are, but, I mean, who doesn't love onions either? Throw that all in there. We're just going to let that all simmer together right now and we'll check back in with it in just a couple of minutes. So y'all, um, I just saw the bullseye behind Shannon. I have to remind y'all, the bullseye is still available. Is that crazy? Online. Still available. After four sellouts, it is still on 24 hours later. So y'all seriously go to rectech.com and check it out. The hottest idea. pellet grill on the market. Madeline, what? I have an idea. You got an idea? Yeah, you I have, have an, an idea. idea. What do you think of it? What is it? Well, they can hear us, they might. <laughs> oh, yeah, shoot. So I might as well share, right? Might as well. Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> if you hit that share button and you share and comment hashtag barbecue, B A R dot B dot Q, I'm going to pick a winner for a bullseye. Did you even ask Wait, anybody what? to do that? No, but I, I'll text Ray later. Sorry, Ray. Who cares? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, let's give away a bullseye. First ever show, give away a bullseye. Let's do it. Dang. Whatever, why, why not? Do? Right? Why wouldn't we? Um, I think uh, my meatballs are about ready. They've been cooking on there for about 35 minutes total, 35 to 45. They've definitely hit that internal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to – oh, there's the white gloves. These are good for hot heat. Well, I'm Madeline, take them while off. you're pulling those off, I'm getting a little thirsty. You're thirsty? Yeah, are you thirsty? Yeah, I am. Well, that's Drink not time, very convincing. Ladies. I'm going to dump the meatballs into the sauce. That's easy. But I think it's time. Almost time. Yeah, let's get some dirty girl in here. Yeah. Amanda, where's Amanda? Yeah, Amanda, where's Amanda? Coming. Now we're just gonna stir the sauce. Mm. You, this is it's totally to optional. I literally just decided to do this. This is not in the plans, so sorry everybody behind the scenes, but why not put some more sauce in there, let them cook a little longer and you know, add get some all that flavor. flavor. Amanda, oh, I am parched right, right now. What's yes, up, lady? Amanda. We told you it was an all-girl show. Come on, get in the middle. You get in the middle. I'm always all a little show. late. Fashionably late. <laughs> That's okay. That's totally fine. Shannon, what are Madeline, you gonna I am so proud of y'all for Amanda. starting the show. My name is Shannon. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> Amanda right. doesn't always remember that. Yeah, <laughs> she forgot my name. I love her, I promise. Even though I forget your drink sometimes, your and, name sometimes. And my name. It's okay. Hey, it's all good. It's, it's all, all good. It's all right. What are all we right. making today? Well, all right. This smells terrific, by the way. Right. So hey. because I'm um, going to be thirsting a couple of people's thirst, <laughs> quenching their thirst, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know whatever it is, I'm going to actually make a uh, small batch of sangria to... Ooh. Know, so we can all sip on some. Are you doing red or white? I'm going to do, okay, so this is going to be a fall time sangria. So when it comes to sangrias, there's really no rules to it. Um, you just kind of build on it. So I wanted to focus in on fall because, you know, it's October, yeah. spooky season. We don't like rules anyways here. No. Yeah, we never follow the rules and, you know, <laughs> it's all good. 
All right, so first we're going to cut up your fruit. Um, there's no rolls to it, so we're doing fall. I did uh, some oranges, cinnamon, and apples. Got those already ready and cut up. So we're going to first start off with our base, which is our fruit. And we're just going to pile it in. Mm. So it's kind of healthy, right? Yeah. We'll convince you ourselves. Can. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's healthier than it's healthier my butt than heavy over here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do some cinnamon sticks. Oh, yum. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to start with our base. Gotcha. Oh, thank you. All right, so with any kind of sangria, you want to do at least four ounces of a spirit or a brandy or whatever. But, you know, we are strong women, and we need strong drinks, Absol right? Yes, yes of absolutely. course. Especially with working on the men so here. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to do moonshine. Um, we have our Murder Creek Praline moonshine. They're out of Shout Alabama, out. too. They're from Alabama. My people. They are your people, for My sure. My people. All right, so for a um, standard... Mate, can you hand me that? So for all of you at home that are going to be making this, um, I'm sure y'all don't have jiggers or like a bar set up. So if you, I know everybody has a shot glass probably, <laughs> right? From somewhere. So From somewhere. We're going to do six ounces. So I'm going to do basically Ooh, two shots of each. In there. That's right. We're doing Yum. our praline and our apple pie. You know, I learned the other day that a shot in America is like at least half an ounce or an ounce more than any other country. Yeah. We know how to drink. Yeah. So this <laughs> is 1.5 ounce. Bigger. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We go yeah. hard. <laughs> this is 1.5 ounce right here. So two of these make three each. So three ounces of our apple moonshine and three ounces of the praline. It's going to be so good, y'all. Are y'all ready to drink this? Absolutely. All right. And of course, we're going to work with, this is kind of like John's um, drink of fall, but you know. <laughs> A little different, just slightly different. I'm mean, the same ingredients, so y'all should stock up on these anyways for Where to can recreate get your products. Our products, DGMixers.com. Y'all already know that. Uh, Rectech Grills also sells online, so yeah. yeah and any in store? Yeah, so we are in local um, Kroger statewide in Georgia, and we are making our way. So if you want Dirty Girl, do us a favor and go to your favorite retailer and request for Dirty Girl and ask ask your local distributors. They I wouldn't us. ask for Dirty Girl in Alabama. I love that. Yeah. I think Publix is tired of me. I keep telling them, come on, we need Same. Dirty Girl. Good. <laughs> yeah, annoy them. Do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so a plus about the Dirty Girl Sour Mix is it's versatile. I mean, you don't need it just for margaritas. It works for pretty much any kind of cocktail. You can do Long Islands. You can do whiskey Ooh. sours. You can do, like, a lot of stuff. Wow. I'm sure y'all follow <laughs> Erica, wow. and she's wow. very, very good at uh, her TikToks and drink demos. One of my favorites yes. is the jalapeno margarita that she makes. It's oh, got that so cactus good. juice, and it's smoked. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So what I just did is equal parts of our sour mix and apple cider. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take our a whole bottle of Chardonnay. Um, we're sacrificing what? one of Ray's favorite Wait, drinks. See. Sorry, Sorry, Ray. Ray. Uh, again, yeah, <laughs> giving away bullseye <laughs> and taking your wine. Absolutely. But before we do that, why don't we hit it with some Ray's warm Ooh, apple pie? Yum. Nice little plug there, right? I mean, <laughs> if our bosses, <laughs> Trey and Ben, are watching, we might be done the rest of the day. So as soon as we <laughs> yeah, sign off, we're hitting happy hour. We're going to hit happy hour right here on the Rec Tech deck because I think we will be done. That's right. So the room, we're just going to put some Chardonnay, I a whole bottle, some. Just top it. Wine. And then we're going to take some club soda. Ooh. You love red wine? No, white, white wine. wine. We love red, red wine. wine. Yeah. Red wine. So we're going to top it with some club soda. And voila. And we're going to give it a good stir. Where's my spoon at? There was yeah. a big spoon. You can use these. They're clean. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. And Tom's then we're just going to give it a good <laughs> little stir. So for sangrias, you want to plan ahead and actually refrigerate it for a good um, anywhere from two to six hours. Oh, wow. But, you know, I planned ahead and made sure I had a batch ready. We're already chilling. What? Yeah. Of You've course. been prepared? Of wow. Course. But of course. I'm so excited to try this. Look at that. Just like Any magic. Any excuse to drink on the job, like right? Oh. Just oh like magic. Gosh. We do All have right. the best job. A lot of magic. We do. You need some cups, Manda? Yes, please. All right. So is this good over ice or like what do you suggest? Yes. Sangrias are terrific, chilled and over ice for sure. All right. Here you go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It smells delicious. Dirty girl. It does. I it's smell so the good. cinnamon. How long have you worked with Dirty Girl? I've been their um, brand manager for since May of last year, and then Erica came on a month after me. So Team America, we're the only ones that run the marketing and and do all the creative branding behind yeah. the Y'all are busy. Girl. Yeah, we are. Busy, busy. Olivia, Olivia get in here. What? <laughs> 
All wow. right. Let's and see. cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is delicious. That is good. That is so good. That is delicious. It's so good. So because this is the first episode of um, Rag Tech Barbecue, why not we do a giveaway on Dirty Girl side as well? I love what? it. Yes, let's Two do giveaways. Let's do it. So bullseye Two giveaway. and what are you going to do? Full line? Okay, full line of Dirty Girl. So what do they have to do for the bullseye? Again? They have to share and hashtag barbecue, B-A-R dot B dot Q. So okay. what do you want to do? So for the Dirty Girl giveaway, how about you tag two friends in the comments right now that should be watching the show, your drinking buddies. How about that? Yeah, yeah. And we'll announce it next Wednesday. Tune in. Two weeks. Two weeks? Winners. Oh, two winners. Sorry. Okay. Two winners, both one Dirty Girl, one Bullseye. We'll announce it next week right here on Barbecue. Perfect. Also wow. in the comment section, please let us know what you want to see us cook and next And drinks. Week. Right, Amanda? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Uh, we want I'm going to do big batches, but yeah, anything you want to <laughs> Yeah, let's see some drinks. Let's get creative. Whatever, let's come up with some yeah. drinks. Whatever let's you want to see us cook or drink, make, whatever, let us know. Because that's what that Rectech Barbecue group and Instagram is for, too. Mm -hmm. We want to stay interactive with you guys directly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, right. cheers, ladies. Cheers, Amanda. Amanda. I'll thank be you. I'll getting out of your way. Can't wait no, to eat thank this. thank you so, so much. It's going to be delicious. All right, so we've got those onions and garlic. They look delicious. What I'm going to do now is I already have my tomatoes and a little bit of sauce right in here, but you know what I'm going to add in there, Madeline, that's just going to add a little bit more flavor? I'm going to add in this Dirty Girl Habanero Bloody Mary mix. I mean, Ooh. I'm going to tell you what, I love me a good bloody, so I'm just going to add a little bit in here. You don't have to add the habanero. We've got three different flavors. Which yeah. one's your favorite, Madeline? I like the medium, the horseradish, because I that one is super spicy. I like a medium spice. Um, I do think the classic's really, Wait, really I'm gonna good, I'm going to be too. like the salt man. <laughs> but I do. I would go with medium just for my taste, but I do like that. So I like the habanero. I like spicy. As you saw, I just added in more red chili flakes. So you don't have to do that if yeah. you don't want and to. And I feel like it's not going to be too spicy because no, it's so much sure sauce. So. For sure not. So I'm just going to mix all this in there. That little kick you need. A little kick you need. Everybody needs a little kick. Yeah, it'll wake you up for sure. It'll wake, <laughs> all the, it'll wake everyone up up there, right? Yeah. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to pull this out a little bit so I don't burn myself. That would be great. First show, get hurt. I think we should toast these. What do you what? think? What toast toast are you guys bit? cooking with? Let's pour that on in there. Mm. What pellets are y'all cooking with today? Today we are cooking with the Kingsford Signature Pellets. They are great. We, whenever you buy a grill, you actually can choose to add on the Kingsford Pellets as well. Which Shout is pretty out cool. Kingsford. We're super excited yeah. to be working with y'all. Yeah. And sure. their I'm pellets gonna I'm gonna are throw top these on. of the line. You're going to throw them on? You're going to toast them? Just a little bit. Just, Just a, little a little toasty. Toast? A little toasty woasty, you know? Toasty? little toasty. Spray butter. Never Shout out to spray butter. That. Saves everybody's <laughs> live and time. Yeah, for sure. Well, while we have that going and Madeline's starting to do that, should we check on our other sauce and go ahead and pull them off? Yeah, why not? All right. Y'all are selling grills out here. We Jay are. Allen said, great show. I can't wait to buy a grill. Oh, thanks, wow. Jay. Oh, thanks, Jay. Make sure you share. Tell your friends about us. Yeah, y'all. This is our what are first Okay, y'all. I'll be honest. We were nervous. We are a little nervous. You know, we're not usually behind the camera. You. Thank you. You're we're not behind the camera not usually. Today, so what are y'all thinking? Yeah. You enjoying the show? Do you hate us? No, they no do one not hates hate us. you. I can tell I you. I mean, you never know. You never know. People could hate us. So Smash that share button. Get everybody else watching too. We want, we want to have a good big show. We want to outdo all the other <laughs> yeah. ones. Uh, yeah, for sure. Shout out Rachel for the look. Sean gave me a look. Right. <laughs> and Rachel. Okay. Shout out to Rachel. This is how big of a girl show it is. Rachel herself. She's our video and photographer. She's upstairs right now. She's actually moderating. So anybody typing in right now in the comment section Rachel's responding as rec tech and she designed our logo which looks awesome today I had a special special friend she attended Academy Belinda and she has and a Brandon. company here in Augusta te technically Lincoln, in Lincoln Tent, Tent. Yeah. but she put this logo on this and I'm so excited so I pretty. love this it is I've never had Do you guys like the logo board? Shout I've never had a job. cutting board. Really? Yeah, oh, I yeah. have one that's burnt. And it's and like the wonky lift. one. That yeah, yeah it's, no. it's a little wonky. But, you know, <laughs> that's a nice cutting board. I can't wait to use it. it. And I bet it doesn't set on fire and start to yeah. be yeah. all wonky. What's up? So shout out to Belinda and Brandon Hicks yes. from Lincolnton. They do engrave cutting boards. They're super awesome. Y'all check them out and on I Facebook. I think they do metal work, too. Yeah. They can engrave anything. Yeah. They're called... Um, 
Rachel will drop that link. I gave her the link. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and how do you open? Down here. Mm. That's, I don't know. Grab the other ones. Got it. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull these off. We toasted them just a little bit. They look delicious. I cannot wait to put our concoction on these. I'm still enjoying this drink. Y'all, Terry Best said, love my Rectech chefs, but you ladies are killing it today. Aw, yeah, thank you, thank Terry. You. Love the support. That's so sweet. Thank you. All right, so we toasted these just a little bit. You see we got a little bit of those grill marks on there. Let's open these up, Madeline. You know what might be good? Just throw a little bit of that coldens on there. Mm. How about more butter? More butter, more better. More butter, more better. All right, I'm going to do more butter. This is totally the best thing, y'all. We don't really know what we're doing in nope. the end. We're just cooking, and y'all can do but the same. But you know same. what? It's going to taste delicious. I love flavor. If you don't like flavor, I don't know what you're doing, but just add more. Add a little bit more. Everything, just add a little bit of that. Every recipe I read, flavor. I always just add a little bit more. Yeah, and then we're not. We're <laughs> going to come up with our own recipes, too. So Yeah. So please share, like, your favorite recipes with us. We do want to, like cook what y'all cook at we home really or what will. you want to see if you don't if you have a bunch of kids and you need something kid friendly or friday night like just let us know what you want to see all it's right football season we can do some tailgating food absolutely absolutely you ready baseball for season baseball guys season. i can't even don't get me started about the yeah, braves i'm hungry i mean y'all keep talking i'm over here like <laughs> starving i don't know about y'all but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put some of these meatballs right in here mm. madeline they look delicious they do and then let's just gotta go make ahead. one for all the girls. Gotta make one for all the girls, obviously. And then leftovers we'll go and give everyone else. All right. How about we put like a bunch more meatballs? Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Chef I didn't Greg, eat breakfast. <laughs> wow. All Chef right. Greg, we'll be up there later. We're gonna make more for you after this. All right. Let's just keep. We gotta feed the talent. You know, we gotta feed the behind the scenes. Amanda, Olivia, you guys hungry? Yes. I kind of feel like a lunch lady right now. I'm not gonna lie. What do they say? Check that show more sloppy joes for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I legit feel, feel like a lunch lady right now with everyone watching me, oh my talking gosh. me. And I'm like over here and I'm like, I'm going as fast as and I can. And I know you put a lot of onion in there. That's because mm. I love onion. You love onion. But I love onion. you don't have to, yeah. right? You no, know, for sure not. Cheese is coming. And I put a ton of garlic in there. May not get me a date, but for sure it tastes cares? good in my stomach. Food always is there to support you. <laughs> oh, for sure. Meh. All right. <laughs> now yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this ladle and I'm going to put a little bit more sauce because who doesn't want more yeah. sauce? I love sauce. Sauce it. Mm. So... I have a secret. My mom used to make this. Well, no, she used to make spaghetti and she'd Ooh, do meatballs. Meatball. And when I was a little girl, I would come home and I'd make a meatball sub from the leftovers. So this is perfect. For, it's easy. Your kids can do it by themselves. I, of course, didn't have a hoagie. I would use like a hot dog bun. But I would make these all the time when I was little well, just from leftovers. While you were standing there doing that, I felt like... If I was a little kid, I wouldn't just have to hold the spatula to feel like I needed to do something, you know? Like, yeah. I could help roll those meatballs. Yeah. I'd actually be involved. of use in the kitchen for once, rather than just being my mom's way and just trying to yeah. try everything. So, I'm going to put Madeline, this mozzarella cheese on it. We're getting, we're needing more cheese. We have we a lot of people saying more, okay. more cheese. Okay. Put if the cheese you guys really we have it. We have as much put cheese as you could possibly want. There's All more. Right, we, bought a, we literally, <laughs> the salt man. We're just going to cheese it up, guys. That's what you want. So we're actually going to put these right back on for just a couple of seconds. Get that Let cheese that melted. Cheese melt. Kind of put them together, kind of support each support other because that will fall like apart. Like us ladies. <laughs> Yum. Oh, gosh, that looks good. It's going to be Y'all, we're getting such good feedback. That's awesome, y'all. Yeah, we were nervous. So Do we thank have any questions you. out there? Nervous. We got any questions? No, it's just a bunch of raving. What? No one has you. any questions oh, about, about Yeah, do you have, have any questions they at all? ladies are killing the game. Thank wow. you. They, they so you guys are loving it. They mentioned vegan recipes. Vegan? Which Ooh, we can uh, do that easily. Territory we don't really mess with, but we can we get should. it. That'd be right? fun, though. Uh, they mentioned quick and easy for the kids, yeah. just like y'all. I cannot can't. wait to show off that one recipe that I we know. have. Y'all have up. no idea. Things awesome. are coming, headed your way. We are so excited about. But sit up all night and think yeah. about this. You can't, you can't do pulled pork and brisket every night for your family. Yeah. You need these little family recipes. Yeah. Y'all, sure. let's hit those giveaways one more time. What all are you right. giving away, and how do we win? We're gonna give away a bullseye, and you need to share and hashtag barbecue. B A R period B period Q. Just that, barbecue. Share it. Who doesn't want a bullseye? I know. I might enter myself into the bullseye giveaway. You can't win. Hey. Sorry. 
Wow. But you can enter. Wow. I just can't pick you. I was aggressive. <laughs> aggressive. But you know you get to use them all day, any day here. <laughs> and um, Amanda, she's going to give away a full line of Dirty Girl mm -hmm. products. So that includes three different Bloody Marys. They're olive juice, which is the only aged olive juice on the market, a margarita mix, and two salt rimmers, a margarita salt rimmer and a Bloody Mary. And you said all the Bloody Marys? Yeah. Classic, uh, horseradish, obviously and wasn't listening. habanero. That's okay. But it's typical. All right. So, right, y'all, can ready? you give us a run-through of this recipe so far? Just yeah. a quick and easy. Super, I mean... For my sauce, it was literally just some tomatoes. You can just buy the whole peeled tomatoes, throw that in there, pick up a little marinara. That's all I threw in there. I also threw in some of this Colden's freaking Greek. Delicious. It's yeah. actually my favorite it that goes, you can get on uh, Rectech.com. It goes great with anything Italian mm -hmm. or Greek or anything like that. And then like I also put in the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary, or Bloody Mary mix, habanero, just because we liked it a little bit spicy. And then Madeline whipped up those nice meatballs for us. Yes, so that was just ground beef, 80-20, um, and you're gonna do a little bit of Colden's heifer dust and some garlic and oil. And then we're gonna pull these off. Nice and melty. And y'all, if, if people wanna suggest huh. recipes, where, where do they put that in? Where do they make a suggestion? I got one of these, it's too hot. Yeah, it's a little, it's um, a little toasty. So join our groups. On Facebook, we have a rect, it's Rectech, R-E-C-T-E-Q, barbecue, B-A-R, period, B, period, Q, Rectech, barbecue. Same thing Let's for Let's put that Instagram. logo right in the front. Look at that logo that yeah. Rachel did. Shout Got a little toasty over here, but that's fine. Nothing's it's wrong okay. with that. We're not culinary experts. So Rachel okay. designed this logo, and shout out to Belinda and Brand Brandon Hicks. Again, they're in Lincolnton. They made us this. She just dropped this off right before the show, y'all. I was so excited. All right, let's quit talking. Let's <laughs> eat. Let's eat? Yeah. All right, well, it's well, hot, I but okay. It. I mean, <laughs> who cares? I mean, Cut everyone me is curious to see Amanda, how it turned out. Olivia, get All in right. here. Yeah. I'm in. Everyone get in. I'm in. Grab one. Yeah, just grab one. We'll just, burn we'll just my go frenulum, right in. Jody. We'll just go in. I have to wait. I'm going to split one with you. Amanda, wow, grab one. Wow, I only got a little, little baby bit. I don't bit. even care. I'm going to go anyways. Oh, my gosh. This looks so good. It smells delicious, doesn't it? Our first episode. It's smoking. Ugh. It's smoking a little bit. All right. Nice. Remember. Say cheese. Literally say cheese. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers the subs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's good. <coughs> I probably have marinara on my face. I'm in your hair. Oh, that's typical. Fun fact. Madeline got ground beef in her hair earlier while she was making meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> I am tasting, I'm actually tasting a lot of that Bloody Mary mix, aren't that you? Holden's really freaking green. That yeah, Holden's. Mm. I'm tasting and heaven. Mm, I love That's what spicy. I'm tasting. And my love hair is spicy. also tasting the sauce. <laughs> Wait, let me get that so out. Good. Yeah, you want to get that out? Wow. I'm Super simple recipe. I you need did, to we didn't, this I mean, it camera. literally didn't take yeah. us any time. So make sure. I can stuff my face here to for days. Tune in. We've got live shows every single day, not just us. The guys of RecTech also have the live shows. We range anywhere from Facebook to Instagram, and Jordan has his live show on Twitter yeah, as YouTube. well. So make sure, yep, YouTube as well. So make sure you tune in, and guess what? Next what? Wednesday, we'll, we'll have a here. brand new recipe. Yeah, what's up, Olivia? We just posted our brand new live schedule Yeah. on Facebook. It is the last post that we that we posted. So if y'all need to keep up and keep live with us, please go screenshot that, go save yeah, it to your photos, tune sure. in with us save literally that. every day. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Make sure to share. Share for the bullseye. Comment friends if you want to win a Dirty Girl bundle. And we'll please, be giving away yeah. a bullseye next week. Let us know Woo! what you want to see us cook. So we're excited. Woo! Thank you guys for tuning in. We really enjoyed it. Yay, Let us know what you think. Episode. See you at the, the Red Tech. Yay. Let's just keep Woo! eating. Eat, eat, <laughs> I mean, eat. I'm starving. So Did good. not eat anything this morning because so I was going to eat all of this. I know. I planned on eating lunch, like a big lunch, and this is it. Mm. <laughs>